now, I think, of the financial system. I mean, they have really performed well. Pascal has been lucky, but they've always been on, on top of this and they've always been uh, right, right, the right feet. Uh, Daniel had a real good weekend uh, at Norwich Street, so I'm sure there's a lot more to come, but um, they have really performed well and I'm proud of the guys, and they can be proud of themselves what they achieved so far this weekend. Это новая трасса для всех, кто будет что-то необычное, причем э, некоторые из них города в Москве не знают, э, как у нас погода здесь. Может дождь пойти, может снег пойти, кто вот, а, Сегодня град обещает. Вот, поэтому для всех будет сложно, и я думаю, что это возможно придать. Мы все, в принципе, гоняемся в Европе, там, за рубежом, поэтому более-менее все знают этой трассы и погода. А Россия это первая, даже если бы я выступал с ними вместе на этом же этапе, я тоже, ну, может быть, я больше знаю погоду, но также я по трассе в Минск хотел вступать на разных тысячах. Ну, действительно, стоит сказать, что, наверное, прогулка. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, when it's racing, uh, it's, things go wrong. Um, and uh, I think it was a bit, a bit too much. Uh, I think it was, uh, I don't know, you know, at the end there's race control they have to decide. But for sure, uh, there are always, if there's an incident between, between two drivers, um, it means those drivers maybe uh, are a little bit, uh, you know, in the, or do both maybe a mistake, whatever. But uh, for sure, that's hard racing, and it happens. And uh, I think at the end of the day, it's not what we drivers want to see, but uh, that's that's going to happen when it's so close, and um, it's part of DTM. And then the thing with Matthias, I think he won the race, and he had no advantage out of uh, out of what happened after the race. Uh, so for sure, he deserves the win. But then uh, on the other hand, you have rules, and now we have to they have to decide what uh, what is right and what is wrong. But uh, that's all I can say. And you? Yeah, I mean, I agree with Rocky and uh, obviously the incident um, between Gary and Natara uh, was, you know, on a street track and we're racing so close and the vision is difficult, it's easy to happen. I'm sure if you speak to Gary, he'll say it's Natara's fault and if you speak to Natara, he'll say it's Gary's fault. But it's one of those racing incidents um, and luckily nobody was hurt. Um, regarding Eki, I mean, obviously he's always trying to fill his pockets, so uh, <laughs> it's his time with water. <laughs> but uh, I mean, he won the race, he deserved to win the race. It's just a shame that this happened. Um, and obviously, it's, it's, you know, it's not right. That's it. Ну, я пояснил для журналистов, которые, может быть, не в курсе всех перипетий, что Мати с Эктом был дисквалифицирован за нарушение правил закрытого парка, когда после финиша бутылка с водой э и он залили, скажем так, в карман комбинезона Мати с Эктом. Майк и Энди, с этим связано то, что вы так осторожно относитесь к вот этим бутылочкам, которые здесь стоят? I don't know, maybe he had problems downstairs and he needed some cooling, I don't know, but uh, I think that, um, you know, we should have drunk the water and not poured it over your body, but, uh, yeah, it, it, we, none of us will ever do that, I'm sure, again, having seen what Eki went through to win the race, I mean, I'm sure he would have been okay, past half family, but, you know, half family is half family, full stop. И хотелось бы услышать комментарии по двум этим эпизодам, также со стороны Райфа Шумайкера, как гонщика и как теперь уже менеджера гонщиков коллектива Райфа Баварии, Гэри и Эдуарда и его дисквалификации Матеса. For no reason, somebody crashing into and breaking, I mean, not just crashing, just you know, shooting into the back of another car that's going for a championship, I think that doesn't make sense at all. And that's not DTM, that's what we don't, don't want to look like, I think, because, you know, we, we are well known for tough and fair motor sport, and I think that wasn't quite right fair, but that's something we that just maybe to figure it out behind the scenes. Regarding Aki, I think as well, I mean, we have very simple and strict rules. We all have to follow them. If they don't follow, he deserves a disqualification. It doesn't matter whether he deserves to win or not. He did a great race, that's, that's for sure. But, you know, that's what the rules are for.
speed was something that meant so much to me. You know, I, I've been in so many different formulas of motor racing, but Formula One was just such a big step in terms of speed. But also the cornering, the, 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 the G-force you put in the corners was, was staggering. So I had the biggest smile on my face and I felt like a, a kid in a, in a candy shop. The fans weren't here, Florent wouldn't exist. So, you know, the fans are very, very important to us. And during a race, we, we can't hear the fans uh, because the Formula One car is so loud and obviously you're, you're focusing on driving. But uh, before the race and after the race, it, it really does mean a lot if you have a, a lot of support out there. You feel like you're winning a Grand Prix with the fans. One of the races that is very special for that is Monaco because, you know, you are surrounded by the fans every second of the lap. Uh, and when you finish the lap, when you finish the race, you feel like you celebrate with, with every single person that's there watching the Grand Prix, which is, which is very special. So uh, a Maserati is definitely the best option, but um, you don't have any McLarens? Uh, no McLarens this weekend, no. Next year? Okay. Next year, we've got to get you some McLarens.